when he gets really stressed, he he doesn't realize his tone. We're actually in therapy for this. Nikki Bella and Artem Shigvinsev are working on their communication. The Total Bella star admitted that she and her fiance are currently in couples therapy as she got candid about their relationship dynamic during an episode of Caitlin Bristow's Off the Vine podcast. When he gets really stressed, he he doesn't realize his tone. We're actually in therapy for this. And mm -hmm. I remember like even during dress rehearsals, like sometimes then I'd be like, is he mad at me? Like, like I, and it would make me feel really off. Uh -huh. And it was just be his tone. And I was like, oh, it, it was like hard. The revelation came after the Bachelorette alum confessed to often clashing with the pro dancer during their partnership on season 29 of Dancing with the Stars. Nikki said she shared a similar experience when she and Artem were teamed up for season 25 prior to their romance. But I've heard that all the dancers are like that, like very strict. That's kind of how they grew up um, in their world of dancing. And that's how they were taught. And also, you know, totally. and Artem even said to me, he's like, I don't want to use Russian as like an excuse, but I'm Russian. Uh, but it was so yeah. funny because I knew um, right off the bat, I got, he was like telling me I was rushing the time. He's like, you're Russian. And I was like, no, you're Russian. And it did not land. And I was like, oh, oh no jokes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually such a good one he but well, you know what's in, <laughs> interesting really about artem that i always found just with him and in everything he kind of does whether it's cooking or it's building you know he built me a meditation <laughs> thing he he is, gets in a very serious mode like there's no like we're building and having fun and giggling yeah. it's like i'm building this i'm concentrating like no jokes yeah the former WWE wrestler has been extremely open about the ups and downs in her relationship, especially following the birth of the couple's baby boy Mateo in July 2020. In November, she told fellow mom Katherine Schwarzenegger about her struggle with postpartum depression while her man was away from home working. So when Mateo was four weeks old and Arm got the opportunity, I was like, I want to be supportive and like, go, I'll be fine. Right. Um, I'll meet you in LA because we were in Phoenix at the time. And when he left, and we were such a team, like through pregnancy, through this pandemic, the mm -hmm. first four weeks, um, I was just like, I have a great thing going. Um, and when he left, like my world got shook. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do this on my own. Like, why did I say I could do this on my own? Like, but now I need to be supportive and I just need to like keep my mouth shut and not be negative, support him. And as the weeks were going like by, and Mateo, he has colic. So he was um, very colicky. Mm. Um, he's gotten better right when he got better. Then he started teething at a very young age. And I'm like, I can't win. <laughs> um, so I was trying to do so many things on my own and have no help. And Artem was having the time of his life and like kind of where my depression was kicking in is not only did I miss my fiance, you know, I'm trying to be a great mom and you, you really can't help it. I think that's the one thing I've learned is it just happens. And so I knew I was kind of in that place, but I was like, no, I'm not, I'm fine. But then to see Artem smiling on live TV and being so happy. And then I would look in the mirror and and he's dancing with this beautiful woman and having the time of his life. And then I look in the mirror, like my hair mess, my boobs hurt, I need a pump, but like he's crying and not breastfeeding and like just, yeah. and then hating my body. And I was just then starting to fall.